Well, hey, guest services team, Jacob here. Um, wanted to send out a little bit of a video update with this um, with this uh, week's uh, email instead of it just being all text. Wanted to talk a little bit actually about the area that I've chose to make the video in, and this will make sense more as um, as I talk through some of the stuff. Just wanted to share and connect with you guys. Um, so I am in my home office and crazy enough. So this is also the area I used to have a different area, but now it's this area where I'll do, uh, go through my prayer list, go through journaling. Um, and actually I created it, put a lot into it. Uh, this is kind of corny, but after seeing that movie war room, uh, which is pretty cool, but so you can look around and kind of see, I have, I keep the book of John, uh, laid out there. I have some covenants hanging on the wall from some covenant groups I did, some meaningful scripture. This is a cool thing my daughter did. Um, it says, in the beginning, God created. She did that in class one day. Uh, serenity prayer, pictures, and lifeline training years ago. Um, we walked through making a personal mission statement. And so that's kind of my simple little personal mission life statement I can go to to see if I, I'm functioning the way Jesus wants me to. I keep my prayer notebook um, and my just standard journal down there. So, um, you know, some of this video just wanted to talk about, you know, where we're at, kind of where we uh, see things uh, um, and just connect. So kind of calling out the elephant in the room and is, uh, you know, this season has been quite a grind. Um, this season has been a grind. We're having to uh, follow more processes than before with COVID guidelines and with a smaller team uh, than we've ever functioned with before. Um, we've had a shift from being, uh, you know, pretty, you know, very much hospitality and first impressions uh, in our function to also being virus prevention in our function. So it, it, it's been a grind. Um, it's been hard to see uh, so many fellow uh, teammates, so many uh, brothers and sisters not be with us in person. Uh, we miss seeing a lot of people in, in, in person. Um, and, and truthfully, I'm not sure when this season is going to end. Um, this season is clearly about perseverance and, and, and trusting God. Um, Y'all, it can be easier than ever. Um, it can be very easy to get burnt out right now. Um, let's acknowledge that together and let's run to Jesus for our sustenance. Um, it's vital for us to spend time with him. You know, I know a lot of things that we used to connect with that would fill us up during the week, different groups and whatnot, you know, uh, aren't as available. Um, you know, we do have life groups, so that's great. Um, we have one another, but let's Let's make sure we're spending time with Jesus. Jesus, let's make him our refuge. Uh, that's why I looked at this area. You know, our, our spiritual disciplines are vital right now to have something in our tank so uh, that we are serving out of that on Sundays. It can be easier than ever right now to fall into just volunteering. Just coming to get something done, check a box instead of truly serving Jesus out of a response to the gospel. So if you ever arrive on a Sunday and you're running on fumes, let somebody know so they can pray over you because spiritual warfare is very, very real. Um, and we want to acknowledge that. Um, being at team prayer on time. Um, if you get there and you're on fumes and you're arriving late, still pull somebody to the side if at all possible. Have them pray over you. Uh, find me. Um, find another team member. I um, also want to tell just a quick story again that always helps me center in how uh, we fit into the mission, uh, our church mission of helping people follow Jesus. So I've told this story before, but it's a story that I go to regularly that just helps me center in our part of the mission. It keeps me centered in the why extremely well. And so, um, as many of you know, uh, right before coming on with the guest services team, um, I've told this story before, but there's a family member of mine that has uh, ravaged their life, 
uh, lives uh, with bad decision after bad decision and um, uh, just lots of different things. I, I won't go into all of them, but um, for a long period of time, I've recommended, you know, well, hey, maybe it'd be good to just uh, meet with a counselor, talk with a counselor, try to walk some things out to go kind of get to the thing behind the thing. Um, and they've always been, they've never been receptive, they had never been receptive to the idea of seeing a counselor. Well, it was just maybe a month or two, I can't remember exactly, but before coming on with the guest services team, they actually came to, uh, they sought me out to sit and talk. And they had hit a rock bottom and they were open to the idea of going to see a counselor. And they didn't know how to start. They'd never done this before. So I gave them the information for an office uh, that I had heard good things about uh, as far as the counselors go. They were so excited, so ready to move. Right when they got out to the car, in the car, they called the counseling office to make an appointment. And when they called, the receptionist was so rude that they never actually made an appointment. And that is a reflection of really uh, the role that we play. We are like receptionists for Jesus. It helps me to put it that way. I hope it helps you too. But the way that we engage with guests and our hearts have to be serving in the right place. We have to be doing it out of a response to the gospel. But the way that we engage with people can determine whether they make an appointment with Jesus or not. And so what an honor it is to be chosen to be his hands and feet in that way. And so um, it just points to the, how vital it is for us to, uh, to be serving out of the right heart and to be in our, 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 our disciplines, to be spending time with him so that we show up to truly serve him and not uh, to just check a box. And so uh, that has been something I, I, I have gotten to that place. Uh, so Sundays where I've felt like I'm just checking a box. And so it's been very convicting for me. And I just wanted to share with y'all. Um, also, a quick reminder um, to just check on one another. When Jesus prompts you to do so, uh, whether that's through, you know, a call, a text, through the group means, whatever it might be, uh, pray over one another. And if Jesus prompts you to check on uh, someone just respond and do it. And I want to tell a quick story to go with that from this COVID season. And so um, I was riding around, running some errands on a Saturday, was rushing, um, really needed to get home. And I just had this prompting to check on a friend of mine. And I happened to be near them when I was running errands, near where they lived. And I kind of didn't want to do it. I needed to get home, but I did it anyways. And um, just sent them a text, checking on them, and equated to me being able to stop by real quick. They weren't in a good place. Uh, we talked. Uh, we uh, I got them connected uh, with a counselor and, and different things of that nature while I was there. Well, later, um, in tears, this friend tells me that when I stopped by, when I checked on them and then stopped by, they were actually about to take their life. And so... If we feel God, Jesus prompting us to check on one another, you never know what that might be. We know, we don't. He knows uh, what's going on, and for us, it may just be even just something simple to make that person feel uh, just seen, known, even in a little bit. And and if you're in a bad spot too, uh, reach out. And so, uh, guys, I just wanted to reach out. You know, it's an honor to do this with you. Um, I appreciate y'all. Um, you know. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday, those of you that, that are back in person. And uh, those of you that aren't, we miss you. Just know that. And so, uh, yeah, let me pray. Oh, Heavenly Father God, um, we thank you truly for the opportunity to do this together. God, we thank you for the one another's, the commands that you give us. Lord, um, I pray for our hearts. God, I, I, I know that this is a time where it's so easy to get burnt out. So God, I pray for rest, even if just moments of rest for my brothers and sisters throughout the day, where you just slow time down so that they can see you working. You'd, you'd heighten their spiritual senses so they can feel your presence. 
And Lord, that we would be able to go to battle together. Lord, that we would continue to take ground for the kingdom. And so, Lord, we pray all that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good day.